Hey guys, how's it going? Just figured I'd do a little update for you guys and let you guys see what's going on in the fish tank. So, I finally found Shrek, a, uh, a roommate, I guess you could say, for my tank here. And what I found was a red-tailed catfish that I bought from one of my local pet stores here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I named him Tank. Because one day he's going to be a tank. So Shrek now, that's a buddy. Well, not really a buddy. First day I put him in here, I got him this weekend. The first day I put him in here, Shrek kind of beat him up, picked on him a bit. And I was a little bit nervous, but I knew that catfish are really tough fish and they're very hardy. And uh, yeah, so I. Uh, we did it out and then within uh, by the next day he left him alone the odd times he kind of comes at him and nips at him a little bit but other than that they're doing really well together he's already eating i'm feeding him uh, raw shrimp shrimp tails and uh, he's eating well and everything and doing really well and yeah i'm really liking him such a cool fish so different and unique and just beautiful and I know some of you guys would probably say he's gonna he's way too big, going to grow way too big for this aquarium. And I know that I've done my research on how big these suckers can get. And I know they get huge one day. But he's not at that point yet. And I do plan on whether I build a pond, indoor pond in my house here, or I bring him to my uh, fiance's parents' house where they have an indoor pond that's, I think, well over 300 gallons so if he does when he does outgrow this tank he does ha he will have another place to be to grow out to his full potential and there's Shrek in all his glory looking fantastic and uh, still as you can see here is all this driftwood here that I uh, I'm really cheap and I don't can't justify spending you know 60 bucks or 100 bucks on a piece of driftwood in the pet stores and that's just me so what I did last weekend also is I uh, went along this one creek where I live and there's just a bunch of rapids and stuff and I found a bunch of driftwood pieces that were um, washed up and stuff or on the sides and whatever so I grabbed them and then I uh, this one I'm not too sure it kind of looks like it's seems like it's pretty still a bit of a, a bit alive yet but kind of debating I'm, I'm probably not gonna keep all of the driftwood in here or I'm, I'm not going to I'm just I'm just soaking it all for now just to see what I'm gonna like in the end as how I placed it in the fish tank here so I just yeah I went to a local creek here and picked up a bunch of driftwood and I scrubbed it down washed it down and then I boiled a bunch of water and I poured the boiling water all over the driftwood just to kill off any bacteria or parasites or whatever could be on the wood. So I did that and uh, yeah, so that's why I've got all this driftwood here floating at the top of the tank. Kind of looks silly right now, but at the same time I kind of don't mind it because it kind of gives it that <clears throat> natural look for predator fish where they, you know, be hiding underneath the driftwood waiting for bait fish and stuff to come by. And so I don't personally mind it, but my fiance thinks it looks silly, but once the driftwood actually sinks, then uh, then I'll uh, redesign the aquarium and make it look how I how I'd like it to look. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the new update. Got myself finally a new fish. Because to be honest, I was getting bored of only having one fish in this aquarium, and I'm sure as a lot of you guys know who have to keep solitary fish sometimes at aquarium. It's fun and it's awesome and. You know, he's very interactive and cool fish, but at the same time, it's nice to see other fish in the aquarium if you can. So, yeah, I did that, and they're doing really well together now. And I'm really happy, really happy with the fish. I got him, I'd say, for a good deal, I don't know, for $50, and he's about 12 inches long, or close to, for sure, close to a foot, if not a foot. And, uh, yeah, he's doing awesome, and so is Shrek. Shrek's doing great. 
tolerating him, so that's good. And uh, I'm probably going to take out that cave there again because I put that in there for the catfish to hide, but he didn't get the idea that he could hide in there, so now it's just taking out too much space, so I'll probably remove it today yet because so that's in there for literally no reason right now. And to me, it's an eyesore. It doesn't really look good either. Oh, get Shrek doing the yawn. He's, he's got a pretty big mouth on him. And he, I still have some fry in here, and I saw him. I guess they're hanging out in the driftwood now up here, hiding. Because he was trying to peg some off before again. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, that's all for now. Keep you guys updated with my new red tailed catfish named Tank. Uh, and obviously Shrek, my big boy. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.